Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is just a short little tips video um, about manually installing modules. Um, because sometimes you have branching um, versions of a module and MIDI QOL is the one that is pertinent quite uh, at the moment. Uh, so there's basically three different branches of MIDI QOL. There is the branch for people who are still on version 11 of Foundry. Uh, there's a br the core branch that a lot of people are already or still on for Foundry version 12. But moving forward, there is a third branch which is deliberately being developed that will become the, the core one for version 12 with the D&D engine 3.3.1. Um, yes, it's still getting tweaks and stuff, but it's solid and it's working. And that's the one that I'm using in my automation videos. So how do you actually install these? Well, we're talking about modules. So we're going to go to our add-on modules and we want to install a module. Okay, what we're looking for at the bottom here, you can see we want a manifest URL. Uh, and that's exactly where we're going to copy that link to. So the one I've just copied in here is GitLabs for um, Tim Posney for his MIDI QOL raw version 11.6 package module.json. Uh, that's the link. Um, and that is what is going to actually install that version for us. Now you need to be really, really careful where you are getting your module JSONs from, um, because there are people who have taken other people's work and they've don't don't just Google it and grab the first one you see. Um, make sure you get from the formal GitLab stuff. So, for example, if you're looking for the um, and it's in the link to the previous video anyway. But if you're looking, for example, for the MIDI QOL one, you ought to be getting from. Uh, from Mr. Tim Posney, not getting it from you know Johnny, who's got uh, his own version that he's put on there. Uh, and there was a big issue with the warp gate because lots of people had cloned it, and there was all sorts of really dodgy versions going around and things. We're not going to get into warp gate, um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to paste that in there, and we're just going to click install, uh, and then boom, that's done. It literally is that simple. Now, if we look at my uh, MIDI QOO over here, you can see it's now on 11.6.6.1. And of course, I can just, if I want to, manually run an update on it to make sure I'm using the latest version of that. That's it. That's how you manually install a JSON. So if you have a different version of MIDI QOL and this is the version you want, in the previous video there was a link to it, this is how you install it, like I've just done. Really simple. Um, lovely jubbly. And if you're not sure about it, what you can do, probably should do, is go to your folder. Let me find my folder and do this. Uh, do, do, do. So if I come into whoop, over here into my DD folder where I have my Foundry installation, go into my data and go into modules, what you'll see is all of these are the various modules that I've got installed. There's build a bonus, um, there's bug scripts. Um, there's my treasure items. These are everything that's been installed. Now, if we go down to the MIDI stuff, can you see that I've got a MIDI QOL old? Because before I installed the correct, or what is now for me, the correct branch, I did just rename this folder old. So I've still got the previous version of MIDI with all of its settings and everything nicely, safely kept. So if there was an issue with this one, that I've just installed, which is now the active one, I'm not going to lose that. Uh, and what you'll also see um, sometimes is when you're actually in the game, you might see that it pops up and says that you can install the old version as well. You don't want to do that. You notice it doesn't show up in here um, because the folder doesn't match the manifest name, which is absolutely fine. But I'm just checking this 11.6. That's what I wanted. That's what I'm on. So sensible to back up your modules before you do anything like update but if you've got your link to your johnson your jason whatever you want to call it <laughs> link to your johnson sorry about that um, that's how you install it anyway i'm gonna go and have a cold shower <laughs> take care everybody